Today, we're diving deep into one of the most intriguing mysteries in the world of zoology, the existence of the thylacine, also known as the Tasmanian tiger. Is this elusive creature still out there, roaming the remote wilderness of Tasmania, or has it truly disappeared from the face of the earth? Join us on this exploration as we uncover the evidence and weigh the possibilities. To begin our investigation, let's rewind the clock and delve into the enigmatic history of the thylacine. Native to Australia and Tasmania, this marsupial carnivore earned its Tasmanian tiger nickname due to its striped lower back. Once widespread, it became a symbol of Tasmania and an emblem of its wildlife. Sadly, the thylacine's decline began in the 19th century, driven by hunting, habitat destruction, and the introduction of non-native species. The last known thylacine died in captivity in 1936, leading to its presumed extinction. But could this story be more complex than it seems? Throughout the years, there have been numerous reports of thylacine sightings, often in the remote wilderness of Tasmania. These encounters, along with indigenous folklore, have kept the possibility of the thylacine's existence alive. The debate rages on. Is the thylacine a cryptid, a creature from folklore and myth, or a real extant species hiding in plain sight? Let's explore the evidence on both sides of this intriguing argument. The thylacine still exists. Where could it be hiding? Tasmania's rugged, untouched wilderness offers countless potential hiding places for this elusive creature. Whether the thylacine is extinct or not, its story serves as a cautionary tale of the consequences of human impact on ecosystems. Conservation efforts continue in Tasmania, offering hope for the preservation of other endangered species. Now, fast forward to the 21st century, where science and technology offer a glimmer of hope for this lost species. Scientists have embarked on a mission to extract and sequence the DNA of preserved thylacine specimens, carefully stored in museums. This genetic blueprint forms the foundation for the audacious plan to bring the thylacine back to life. But how do you reconstruct the DNA of a species that's been extinct for decades? In our exclusive interviews with geneticists and researchers, we uncover the intricate process of piecing together the thylacine's genetic code. With cutting-edge gene editing tools and advanced sequencing techniques, scientists are navigating uncharted territory. While the possibility of thylacine resurrection is thrilling, it's not without controversy. In our interviews with ethicists and experts, we explore the ethical dilemmas surrounding de-extinction, questions about the impact on existing ecosystems, the role of humans in the thylacine's decline, and the responsibility of playing genetic god all come into focus. Beyond the dream of seeing a thylacine in the wild again, there's a broader vision at play. Conservationists working in tandem with scientists recognize that the thylacine's revival also signifies hope for preserving Tasmania's unique ecosystems. It's not just about bringing back a species, it's about restoring balance to the natural world. As with any ambitious endeavor, challenges abound. We explore the scientific hurdles, logistical complexities, and ethical debates that scientists are navigating. From the practicalities of cloning to the ethical implications of playing genetic god, the journey is fraught with uncertainties. As we conclude this extraordinary journey into the realm of thylacine de-extinction, we're left with more questions than answers. Can science truly reverse extinction? Should we even attempt it? And if we do, what responsibilities come with this incredible power? One thing is clear. The thylacine's story serves as a poignant reminder of our impact on the natural world and the responsibility we bear to protect and conserve the precious ecosystems that remain. While the evidence remains inconclusive, the thylacine story is a testament to the enduring fascination and respect we hold for the natural world. 
Whether it's a cryptid or a creature still waiting to be rediscovered, we must continue to protect and conserve the precious ecosystems it once called home. Thank you for joining us on this captivating journey. And if you enjoyed this exploration, be sure to like, share, and subscribe to Cosmic Creatures for more incredible wildlife adventures. Until next time, keep your eyes open, your mind curious, and your heart connected to the wonders of our planet.